Welcome back to Master Data Management 1. By now, you should have logged into your account within the Atomsphere platform and are ready to learn more. At this time, you may be asking yourself, what is Master Data Management? Well, by definition, Master Data Management is a data governance process in which business units and IT departments collaborate, cleanse, enrich, publish, and protect common information entities that must be shared across an enterprise. More broadly, it's a cross-organization program consisting of people, processes, and technology. So what does this mean? Simply put, MDM allows you to identify data that you share across multiple applications and creates a single version of that data for each application to reference. For instance, many applications use customers' contact information. Rather than each application using the contact information each has collected on their own, they can reference the same contact information from the MDM platform. This is what MDM can do at its most basic form. MDM Secure Master Data Store is usable with any combination of SaaS cloud and on-premise systems, enabling you to establish a single version of the truth across your organization. All setup, configuration, and management is done from a web browser in a single instance, multi-tenant environment. So the real takeaway here is MDM allows you to compartmentalize your data and make sure that it's uniform across a number of disparate systems of a given organization. It creates and stores a single source of truth for all your systems to pull from, increasing the accuracy of your data. So why does a company need MDM in the first place? In the integration world, we solve most of our problems through straight integration, essentially creating a process to move data around and compare it between source systems. Straight integration can solve some smaller data management issues, but even when sharing data between just a few sources, errors can occur. In order for a single source to verify that it has the same data as the rest of the sources it shares data with, it would need a separate process or branch to interact with each of the other sources. This same pattern happens for each additional source you need to share data with. For example, let's take these four sources. In order to verify that all the data in each other one is the same, they would need to have their own set of processes to do so. As you can see, not only is this complicated, but it's slow, inefficient, and has a large risk of having an error occur somewhere along the way. Here are some reasons how using straight integration can affect a company. It is normal for a growing company to have certain growing pains. But be aware, there are a number of concerns or problems that can arise as you start to have more and more disparate systems across a given company. As data is aggregated over time, a number of issues can arise, such as the accuracy of the data, being able to handle the load of all that data, the security of, the, of sensitive data, and realizing what data is important and what data is just taking up space. The pains listed on the screen now are pitfalls which every company needs to avoid, but these are mainly from an IT perspective. The first issue is compliance. Without establishing a single source of truth, there is no way to enforce inaccuracies from a compliance standpoint. The next is data accuracy. Some sources pull their information from other sources, and this can cause data inaccuracies further down the line if each source is not keeping their data up to date. Next is data quality. Some sources don't allow the same functions as others, which makes it impossible for any specific data standards to be created. What is possible for one application may not be possible for another, and the quality of the data suffers. Disparate data can also affect entitlement. Now, differing data between departments can cause customer issues when trying to understand an issue. If the data sources don't communicate well and have disparate data, then one department may be able to see a problem that another cannot. For example, if a customer buys a product and would like to return it later down the road, the application that handles the payment information needs to communicate effectively with the application that handles inventory. Differing data could result in the loss of customer confidence if they have bad user experiences. And of course, disparate data can affect revenue recognition. It goes hand in hand with the previous explanation, but disparate data can have a direct influence on sales or account receivables. If the contact data is missing or incorrect, then a sale cannot be completed. Now, on the other side of the coin, there are a number of other business problems that can pop up as well when working with disparate data. Here's a list of business pains resulting from disparate data. The first one is sales opportunities. 
poor data management can make sales opportunities harder to recognize and fulfilled across all systems. Clearly identifying where each prospective client is along in their sales cycle is imperative to generating revenue. From a business perspective, account receivables and payables can be affected from disparate data. When it comes to money, the last thing you want is poor and or conflicting data. Nothing loses trust in clients and partners faster than untrustworthy financials. If you keep all of your contracts, customer information, lender information, etc. in the same place and create a single source of truth, then each one of your sources within your organization will be harnessing the same information. This increases transparency and creates understanding throughout the organization. Disparate data can also affect customer care and support. I'm sure we've all had at least one interaction with a company where we call their support line and are given completely different information from different people every time you call. Or have you ever called a company and was transferred to a different department only to be told that they couldn't find you in the system? If you have, then you realize the amount of frustration and the bad impression it left on you, which can easily affect the success of your business. And finally, once again, we're talking about finances. Poor and untrustworthy financials can lead to severe issues, which can cripple growth. So you may be asking yourself, how do you avoid these issues? Well, using Dell Boomi's MDM solutions is a leading way to ensure these issues from both an IT and business perspective are avoided and resolved. As we learned in the last couple slides, MDM is a great way to avoid many business and IT problems. But one of the core strengths of the Dell Boomi's MDM solutions is its ability to simplify and govern integration. Some Boomi users may be solving MDM problems with straight data integration, but as we can see, the straight integration approach causes more issues than it solves. The first image here is an example of the connection complexities that come from a straight integration approach. We can see, we can see here that in order to cross-reference data between four endpoints, you need 12 processes to verify all of that data. This is a pretty common way that businesses integrate their systems currently. Now in this scenario, let's just say we wanted to add four more sources into the mix. By adding just four more sources, we would need to increase to 56 processes in order to verify all of the data between them all. You can see that the traditional integration creates a growing problem and has what I like to call the spiderweb effect. This makes it very difficult to add and remove sources since many of the processes would depend on other processes, not to mention the sheer number of processes it takes to accomplish this goal. So what Dell Boomi's MDM solution does for you is it makes your integration less complex. MDM is built like a hub and spoke type framework, which helps greatly to manage scale. It takes all of your disparate systems and connects them directly into your MDM solution, and it handles the communication between all other systems within your organization. That way, if you have a new application that's coming into your organization, it makes it very easy to plug it into your MDM solution without having to go back and revisit every other system within your integration landscape. We can see here that we have four sources attached to the MDM hub and only need four connections and four processes to do so. If we wanted to add those same four sources from our previous example, the processes and connections only increase by the number of sources you add. The growth is much more manageable and the sources can be added or removed at any time since all of the validation and enrichment happens within the MDM platform. So what does this really mean for you? Since you'll be using fewer connections, it saves you money as well as time when integrating new systems. You only need to build each connection one time. It also simplifies the system upgrade process with centralized governance options, and it's easier to upgrade and creates pattern reusability for adding new spokes. The MDM hub also has change detection capabilities to track granular field changes and prevent costly transport of unnecessary data.